You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures team. Oh, there you go. I was looking for you. Some kind of a joke or something. You requested for pills, right? Here they are. I'll leave. The Igwe needs a son, and he cannot have it by himself. I need you to help me, please. please. I, I need it. I need it. Wait, 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 wait! How dare you? You want me to sleep with you, the king's wife? You want to kill me? Listen. I'll pretend none of this happened. Don't touch me again, please. You've seen my nakedness. You have two choices. It's either you sleep with me and walk out of that door, or you refuse. You explain to the king what you're doing in my room at this time. you understand? I can't calm down. Your Highness, you want more than a million heads. Your head should be paramount to us now, not even the outcome of the delivery. You cannot differentiate between my health and the outcome of the delivery. Exactly. Perhaps this is my last chance. I'm not getting any younger, you know. Igwe, I know you are right. You are right, but you are still our king. And as such, very, very valuable to us. You of are important to us. Of course. Eh? Success without a successor is no success at all. My king, I believe that the girls will put a smile on your face this time around. Yes, they will. I have been believing the same. For the past two and a half decades. Gender was it? Don't, don't tell me it's another girl. No, 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 no. I won't take it from you. Don't tell me it's another girl. I'm sorry, my king. But the queen gave birth to a girl child. Oh, my king! 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 No, no, my dear. Alex, Your Highness. What am I doing here? Your Highness, you passed out last night. The elders and I rushed you to this place. And ever since, the doctors have worked tirelessly to revive you, Your Highness. Uh, is it true that the baby is a girl? Um. Your Highness, I humbly suggest that you forget about what happened last night and concentrate more on your health because that's the most important thing, Your Highness. Oh, Alize. Am I under... Do I look like someone under a curse? Not at all, my king. You're the envy of every other king in this part of the earth. Your wisdom, your wealth, your fame as such, enviable ones, Your Highness. Without a sound 
on earth to succeed me. The palace needs a prince. But your highness, I'm already in the palace. A prince not by name of Balese. I mean a prince by birth. But your highness, a prince is a prince, whether by birth or by name. <laughs> My queen, I need to use the car today. And I've told you that the both of you cannot make use of the jeep again. You have your cars. Make use of it. My queen, are you aware you're the reason Akueza does not respect me in this palace? And what is that supposed to mean? Ever since I came into the palace, I've always respected you as the isn't one. The queen and the first wife. Why wouldn't Akuwezu respect me as well? So how is it my problem? It is your problem! You're not carrying out your duty as the first wife in this palace! How would you scold the both of us equal? How dare you stand before me and utter words of calamity? How dare you have you no respect? I have kept quiet for so long! It is high time I spoke out! Akuwezu does not have any respect for me. It is either you do the right thing or keep fighting to get my full right in this palace. arrived into the palace. My queen, it is better he hears us. I am sick and tired of being humiliated by a woman I saw when she was brought in here. Hey, uh, enough is enough. What's going on here? My king, my king, you're welcome. I said what is going on here? My king, it's nothing to worry yourself about. I heard voices from outside. Are you telling me there's nothing to worry about? Um, my king, Akuiza is taking rather too much in this palace. How can she use the new jeep I want to make use of? And Ezin Wine here is doing nothing about it. Oh my goodness. Again? Again? How many times will I warn you not to convert this palace into a fighting and quarreling ground over property? How many times? Did I not buy each of you a car? Why should a car be an issue now? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry it will never happen again. The reason you are here is to give me a son, an heir to the throne, not to turn the palace into a fighting ground. None of you has been able to give me a son. All you do Fight! You can't even let me have peace in my palace. We're sorry, my king. I think it's about time I sent all of you packing out of this palace. Yes, about time I sent you packing! No. All they do is fight, fight, and fight for my things. Not one of them can give me a son. Your Majesty, you just got discharged from the hospital. I suggest you relax 
you need adequate rest now. There's no place I can get any rest. Not even in my own palace. You can, your majesty. Only if you can take your mind and eyes off these things happening around you. Well, as I wish I could. I really wish I could. You can, your majesty. Try to take some rest, Your Majesty. My King, we are all happy to have you back after a three days stay in the hospital bed. Here you are welcome home. Thank you. Thank you all. I was told what tremendous efforts you all made to see me through to recover my health. I was even told that some of you slept on hospital seats during the time. I'm really appreciative of it. Thank you very much. Igwe, uh, Igwe, we should be grateful to the cause of Uduma Kingdom for this great work. Otherwise, what we did could have been worthless if they had not wished you well again. Yes, the gods be praised. Be be well, once there is life, we have to move on. So, my elders, we must move on. Yes. Thank you. Yes, your highness, and then uh, in moving on, I think we have to address this issue once and for all. Which issue is this, Ichi Okwako? Um, the issue that brought about your sudden health failure. Uh, since these women cannot give you an heir to the throne, I think the best thing is for us to ignore them and get another virgin for our king. <coughs> yes, Your Highness. Uh, Ichi Onou Okwako is right. Our Igwe <coughs> here has the right to marry as many wives as he wants. Exactly. Yes. Provided he gets his desire. It's your work. How many wives do you have in your compound? Um, your Highness, one. But no but. No but. And how many do you have in your compound, Ichi Um, Your Highness, it's one, but... I tell you what, I am disappointed that you came here to discuss this item. Any time any of you raises such an issue with me anymore, I will... In fact, this meeting is over. Your Highness, you go. You go. Where have you gone wrong? Huh? I don't know. I wonder. You know the kind of trouble your wife gives you at home. Eh? You imagine when you have them three in the house. But we are trying to help him. It's for his own favor. It's for his own favor. Fools! 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 All they do is to push me to marry, 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 as if marriage was my problem. I want them to be blind. And there are not enough women in this palace. Wives and daughters. Wives and daughters. Wives and daughters. I need a son! You sent for me, my queen. You were on duty. G. 
during the just concluded section in the King's Court. Yes, my Queen. And I believe you heard everything. Yes, my Queen. So, why was the King upset? The point to get the, the King a fourth wife got him very upset, my Queen. And who raised the point? Which of the others raised the point? With due respect, my queen, I am not expected to talk about anything that happens in the court as it is against the ethics of my job, my queen. I demand to know now. I'm sorry, my queen, I cannot betray my conscience. In other words, you are saying no to my demand. My queen, I'm very sorry. That demand I cannot grant. Get out. Thank you, my queen. Out! What is it? What do you want? Um, I'm sorry, my king. I overheard you talking and I wanted to inquire what the problem is. You really wish to know? Of course, my king. I need a son. Do you have any to give me? Uh, my, my king, I, I... Get out of this. Get out before I lose my temper on you this instant. I'm sorry. Idiots! Idiots, all of you! All you do in this palace is to eat, drink, wear new clothes and expensive jewelry. Not one. Not one of you can give me a son, an heir to this throne. Idiots! I told you it was not necessary. But you didn't listen to me. What kind of life is this? I'm fed up. Akweza, what kind of, what sort of marriage is this? Royal marriage. You're married to King Odogu of Oduma Kingdom. Or could it be better than that? I should have known better. How would you know that? Oh, my king. I need to Take your filthy hands off me! I'm sorry, my king. How can you be my queen when you cannot give me a son? Ah. Tomorrow, I wish to know why I was summoned to this meeting. <laughs> um, Your Highness, I would like to speak as the mouthpiece of my fellow Ndiche. Go on, no work welcome. After our last meeting with you, we sat and decided that you should see reason with us. What reason, no know? Your Highness, I, I think you should give us some patience. 
Don't step on my toes or no work work on. It's really not my intention to do so. Uh, but at least, uh, I mean, you should hear us out. Let me help Ono Okwako. My king, whatever affects the eyes also affects the news. It is only a foolish man who rejoices over his brother's predicament. Your father was the only son of his father. You also turn out to be the only of your father. Right from the origin of Oduma Kingdom, Odogu family has never ceased to produce a king. Why should you change your own town? Mm. And so, to keep the ball rolling, I should fill the entire palace with wives and women. <coughs> you see, if there is any other way to eat my king, Believe me, would have loved to follow it. But as it stands now, there is no other way. Hmm. But has any of you thought about this from a different angle? Suppose the gods themselves are responsible for my inability to get a son and heir to this throne. Even if I married a dozen wives, they'll still be having women and daughters. But why, my king? Why? Why would the gods deny you an heir? Why? That is the question we should be asking ourselves now. That is the question. <clears throat> When an adult is tired of raising that which belongs to a toddler, he brings down his hands for a toddler to take what belongs to him. The <laughs> that it flies so high, has within his uh, mind the belief that he has outflown. When his weak feathers are worn out, he sees himself at the mercy of uh, the toad. There is nothing but blindness that makes the snail feels that his, jo his journey is uh, an endless one. Where his eyes opened, he should have seen that he's only running circle and circle without starting the journey at all. Ezemu, you have spoken so much in riddles that we cannot even comprehend its relevance to why we are here. Um, can you speak to us in the language of men? Ezemu. <coughs> <laughs> King Odogu is right. The gods are behind his uh, predicaments. But what he does not know is that it's only for a purpose and for an appointed time. Look at it. <sighs> Ichiano, go and tell the Igwe the outcome of our meeting with Ezemu. Let's go. For a purpose, and at an appointed time. For what purpose, and at what appointed time? Um, my king. That I didn't hear from him. This is not getting funny any longer, Ichia Nazia. Not at all. I don't know. Um, what shall we do now? The purpose we do not know. But the appointed time 
we can manipulate. You see, Chianazia, I am not getting any younger. You are right. You are perfectly right. Ugoma. Yes, my I have called you both here and kept you standing so that you don't see me now in this court as here constituted as the man you married. But you see me as King Odogu of Oduma Kingdom, whose word is not challenged. I'd like you to listen attentively to what I'm going to say. We're listening, my king. You are both aware why you were brought into this palace. To bear me a son. My queen, Oledo, was not able so to do. And the doctors have said that if she tries any other delivery, she will not come out of it alive. According to our custom and tradition, children in the palace are not born out of caesarean operations. They must be born by natural delivery. Therefore, as it stands now, I don't have a queen because Oledo is not in a position to give me a son. That is why you are both here. To give me a son, a prince, an heir to this throne. So I am giving you a golden opportunity, a final chance. Any of you who first gives me a son will become my queen. The other will have to leave with Oledo. I am tired. I need a prince, a son, an heir to this throne. Give me a son, or else go with your daughters out of this palace. That is my decision. This is your choice. Take it or leave it. Do you understand me clearly? Yes, my king. Very well. Thank you. Yeah, what? Yeah. Hold it! And the mic. And the mic. And the Ah! Ah! Mm. Ah! Oh! Yes. I can see them. I can see them. I can see them. I can see plenty of mere children. Ah! You are favored! You are favored by Yeshua! Ah. Yes. Ah! Oh! Hold it! Oh. Woman, Yeshua is ready to give you your heart desire. Ah! Yeshua, Yeshua, honey, yes, yes, I can hear you. Yes, I speak to me, I can hear you. Yes. All Yeshua wants from you is an offering of thanksgiving with faith. Ah! Yes, yes, Yeshua, Yeshua, I can hear you. I can hear you. Yes, yes. Bring up your thanksgiving materials into the house of Yeshua. He shall tell you the next way into your heart desire. Ah! Ah! Yeshua! Yeshua! Yes! Press, 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 press
Madam, your husband is under a curse. A curse? Uh, yes, a curse. And no matter how many women he sleeps with, none can bear him a son. Hey, uh, see ya. What do we do now, eh? What do we do? Hey. Yeah. See, nothing can be done to avert it. It is a perpetual cause and a everlasting one. Hey! See ya. Yes. Now, please, please. Okay. Just heed to my advice. That is all. You will find out what you see, okay? What is the advice? When next you come here, yeah. I will tell you what to do. Okay? You can go. Yeah. You can go. Thank, thank you, Sia. Thank you very much. You thank you. <gasps> Shouldn't you be with your daughter, woman? <sighs> My king, the maids are with our daughter. I have no strength to waste. Please leave my chamber. My love, I only came to ask you to give me one more chance. Please, so I, so I can give you a son. I will not disappoint you this time around. Please, my husband. The doctor said that if you tried again, you will not come out of it alive. That was exactly what they said in my two deliveries before now. This time was different. You were in labor for one whole day. You kept me standing from morning till night. Any other attempt on it would be much more serious and could indeed be fatal. King, my love, my husband, just one more chance, then I will give you a son. I have given up on you, Oled. My king. Yes. My king. My king. Please, my king. All I want from you is one more chance. I will never disappoint you. I will give you a son. My husband, it is my duty to give you a son. Oledo, please leave my chamber and don't bother to come again on any other visit. I have given up on you. <laughs> No, 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 my king. My, my king, please don't, don't do this to me. <clears throat> I have seen all you brought. <clears throat> I have seen them. <clears throat> your giving has touched the heart of Yahushua. Yahushua is willing to give you your heart desire. Oh. Close your eyes. The next time you want to sleep with the king, before he mounts on you, 
make sure you rub this anointing oil on your private part. It will wash away all the causes on him that has prevented him from having a son. Thank you very much, Prophet. Thank you. May Yahushua be praised forever. I can't do this. No, I can't. Yes, I can. Igwe needs a son. And if that's the only way to give him a son, why are you going back? <laughs> Who says being the next queen of Oduma Kingdom is a crime? I can do it. What if Igwe finds out? No, 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 no. There is no way he will find out. Yes, I can. I can. I can. Ah! <laughs> oh, I'm sure that our love making this night will result in a son for this kingdom. I am too certain of that, my lord. Mm. Then come, come my dear, and let's produce an heir for this kingdom. <laughs> oh yes, uh, uh, what is this? This is an anointing oil. Anointing oil? Yes, he told us to consult our goods. I consulted mine and he told me to rub this on my private part before you make love to me. Hmm, what for? This will break the curse that prevents me from giving you a son. Hmm. <laughs> In that case, I better rub some of it too on my manhood so that its magic will together ensure that we have an heir for this kingdom. Of All right. What kind of life is this? Mother, you are the cause of all these things. I told you that this will boomerang, but you were hard, hardened by your ungodly quest for fame and wealth. I hope you are seeing the problem you, you've created for your daughter from the land beyond. I hope you're enjoying this whole series of events with me. to me as it pertains to a woman in her eggs. My king. I see. I understand that perfectly. But what I don't understand is it never used to take that long before. Uh, patience, my king. Patience. All right. Yes, please don't be angry. Um, you, do you still have that pills you normally give to the king? The sleeping pills you mean? Exactly. I really need it. I've not been able to sleep. Yes, I still have it. But why didn't you ask the maid to tell me about the pills? 
since you asked her to call me. Please, I need you to get it. Please. Okay, I have to go back inside. Are you sure you're alright? Not really. I have this tearing headache. But I'll be fine. Okay, I'm really sorry about the headache. Just give me some time. I'll go get the pills, alright? But I asked her to wait for me. I told her she... I told her to give me some time. Did you see the king's second wife? What sort of a question is that? Are you well at all? No. It seemed to me like I am dreaming. What is it? I was in my room. One of the maidens came to me. She told me that the king's second wife wants to see me. That she needed my attention. I came outside. I saw her. She talked about being sick or feeling sick. That she needed some sleeping pills. So I asked her to wait for me while I go bring the sleeping pills. I got here and I cannot find her. <laughs> Is that why you're troubled? I asked her to wait for me and she's not here, so I'm confused. Maybe she wants you to bring it in her chambers. Her chambers? Go and give it to her. Her chambers? There you go, I was looking for you. Um, oh, what is it? Look, shh. I think you can do it with me. Do it. Do what? Do it, please. <laughs> do it. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is this some kind of a joke or something? <laughs> you requested for pills, right? Here they are. I'll leave. He cannot have it by himself. I need you to help me. Please. Please. I, I need it. I need it. Please. Wait, 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 wait. How dare you? You want me to sleep with you? The king's wife? You want to kill me? Listen. I'll pretend none of this happened. Don't touch me again, please. You see my nakedness. You have two choices. It's either you sleep with me walk out of that door or you refuse you explain to the king what you're doing in my room at this time choose one listen I, I, I understand how you feel right? but this is not the right one it's not I'm doing two I'm doing something three Will you 
believe anything I tell you. He was trying to rape me. He was trying to rape me. Me rape you? You! Please, I'm innocent. You know I cannot do anything like this. Please. Igwe. Igwe. Thank you, my queen. Your Highness, I'm not here to plead for my innocence. Because I do not have enough evidence to prove to you that I'm innocent. I do not have anything against you either. Because I know you are acting. Because of what you heard or you probably saw. What I saw with my two eyes. I'm just here to make one wish. Which is, I beg you in the name of the gods, let me see my mother before I die. I'm the only son she has. I don't know what will become of her if I die. I have a message for her, your highness. Please let me see her, please. I don't have such time. Take me away. Now, my spirit will never forgive you! If I die without seeing my mother, 